in Fiat Ducatos there is a major security flaw. It has been here on the Fiat Ducatos since 2002 at least. Even longer time. What is the major flaw? Basically you can open the Fiat Ducatos doors and central locking system in a couple of seconds without making any noise. It's really common in Europe. Robbers are using it everywhere. So when your friend says that somebody has gassed them or they have braked to their van without making any noise, tell them to check if there's a real little hole over here. Not a hole, but the seal is a little bit bent. That's enough. And all I needed one metal stick. Basically you Push the metal stick down from here, beneath the ceiling, put it there, twist, that's it. It opens the main, main locks of the van without doing any noise at all. And Fiat Ducato, what they have done to solve this problem? Nothing. They have known this uh, error to be in the van since 2005 at least when it actually came into the internet. And now it's 17 years later and still the flaw is there. You can open the Via Tugata with the stick. Horrible. Horrible manufacturers. So, what we have done before this, so people don't get inside our van. Well, we have the wire between the doors and we have also the extra locks on the every door because yeah, we don't trust the security systems if we had to cut them. And now we did a new thing about this. We uh, inserted plate. There is a company that makes plates for this lock. So it blocks the way security flaw. So you cannot anymore open the doors with the stick. Uh, install was pretty easy. It was taking out all the insides of the door and putting the plate there and that's it. And now nobody can actually go inside our van through this door. Spring or to us this is summer day, so enjoying and going for some little shopping. At least going to the uh, pet store to get food for Pulla because Pulla Pulla's food is almost gone. Yeah, they eat like two big bags per year, and now it's just Pulla, so it's a uh, one big bag per year. Not much cost to us of that. The selection in that pet store was huge and every product was a really high quality one and there were no living animals so that's always a thumbs up. It's sometimes scary to look like puppies living in a tiny aquariums. So thumbs up for this store. Now we have a lot of food. When you live on the road that you don't have address you can order stuff from for example from Amazon. So we got this package. The guy that works in the postal office. Hmm, Joni, hello, hola. He already knew when Joni entered the post office. So we do this a lot now that we are somewhat static. So let's open this box. I think I have a new earphones because the last one got broken. There's something for Sarah and something for Joni. Longsdale for Sarah. They are really good. They actually last for decade daily use. So 35 euros. Yeah. Ugly logo, but if it lasts a long, I don't care. Yes. Remington hair cutter. As you can see, my hair is getting longer. 
We used the old Remington for 15 or 20 years almost. And now we had to buy a new one. But it doesn't matter because yeah, it lasted to 20 years. So I hope this is lasting also 20 years. I think this was less than 20 euros. <laughs> so a really good price. And Sarah's headphones got broken. We got JBL Tune 1210. Yeah, good headphones. And they last also really long and they are sturdy. So good purchases from Amazon. We love Amazon. When even if it's a big, huge company that rip off small companies, still we love Amazon. <laughs> Sometimes it's really hard to get to your little when they have just a parking lot where it's a limit for the height. But we got our van and going to the little for buying our food for the next couple of weeks to the house. Yeah, that's what we have done. Uh, buy it like two weeks worth of food and then we can actually put our van that is not insert anymore and stationary so we can save uh, a tons of money yeah now grocery shopping and then back to the house we are ripping our buck net that is broken away and going to fix it once again it's really pain in the ass to fix you cannot buy spare parts for this bucknet, so you have to replace the whole thing. And do you know how much this bucknet costs? A lot. It's several hundreds of euros. I think like 600 euros or something. So that's way too much for a bucknet. When we do it good, it's uh, many years of usage of bucknet. Yeah, it's uh, just time consuming, not hard. Just disassembling and then rooting the cords in the same way as, as they were on the net. Yeah, takes about two, two or three hours. We need to rip our smart tiles off and we have glued them with the super glue so they don't tear out. But now we have to rip them because there's some screws that we need to unscrew. These factory built camper vans are so well put together. So when you want to tear something apart, you basically have to disassemble the half of the van to get something done. We are so blessed we can use this house so we don't have to worry if it's going to be a rainy day and we can fix our bucket. Niin kummat jää keskimmäistä katkenneet. Alhaalta ylös, vähän alempanta ylös, tästä alas, tästä alas. Piirretäänkö? Tämä on nyt, mä How they can always get tangled if there were no tangles at all in the package. And the place where the net actually goes broken is the little holes where the wires go. It eats the wire little by little after a while. Because open and close the mosquito net so often. And so after two years you have replaced the wire for two times the hole, the ring where the wire goes, it's eaten away. So it's actually breaking much faster and that's why we are swapping the end parts. But it costs 500 euros so it's 100 euros per hour net 
wage to do this. Yes, we quit our jobs for this. Yes, so it's like uh, doing a job that has really good pay. Just a couple of screws and then we have mosquito net and we can welcome summer again to our lives. Summer without the mozi is best part. This part over here that is top of our cooking stove is kind of full of dust and olive oil and cooking grease so it's really hard to access when we have a net there but now we can finally clean that place just the final touches Ta-da! Last time we cooked paella was a completely disaster because it was a rainy day and we cooked it in our van and we got so much comments saying don't call that burnt rice as a paella. <laughs> We actually use olive oil a lot. I think something around two or three liters per month at least. We use it for cooking, for salads and everything. So actually Simo bring us this really good Don Vitka olive oil, like super quality olive oil and really good. Uh, usually in uh, stores the cheapest ones are blend. They don't taste at all, but this this is really good. This is one of my favorites. It's really the same kind of uh, olive oil that we bought, purchased for, uh, in Greece. And I think it's because we always didn't buy the cheapest one in Greece. We always buy the best one and what was the best uh, taste. So, we are using it a lot to frying everything. Whatever we do, we use olive oil. We love it. So good to have five liters. It lasts for maximum of two months. <laughs> so using it a lot. But now it's the pilot time. Uh, Marisco pile. What we're gonna do this time? Mm, this time the right way with the pile pan and everything. So we are hoping that we can get the same kind of result as. We would get in a restaurant. Of course, this is a skill that you have to master after a long period of time and after done doing lots of errors. But let's see. Real pile of pan here at outside. It's not sunny as you can see. It's really cloudy weather, but still it's like t-shirt time. Yeah, and can you see in the background there's an almond tree blossoming. And it's kind of late boomer here because we are inland. So usually the almond trees blossom in January. Yeah. Oh, it's blossoming now here. But yeah. let's start the pile because I'm really hungry. Yeah. Uh, actually, the hosts have two kind of pile of pans. One is a huge one and one is a small one. So we're going to use a small one and make the, make the paella. Yeah. We have everything that we need, so rice and lemon. Everything according to that uh, recipe we have there. Okay, so we are following a recipe. Yes. This time nothing can go wrong. And Yoni is a little snappish to me because he is hungry. We are using the real saffron this time, so we can get the real, real taste out of this. Because last time we didn't use any saffron. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Now I can set off here, so it'll be off. Mm. One of the strict rules in making paella is you cannot stir the pot. Absolutely no. And it's so tempting. I really want to stir it. This is saffron, actually, it makes your fingers yellow. And one thing that I saw from the older YouTube videos and everything from, ba from Baeya that after you have put the rice there, you don't touch it. You don't touch it at all. So let it boil there until the water level is lower than the rice. And then you can actually put it on a simmer and have a great Baeya. And we had two kind of rices. Uh, one is paella rice and one is normal rice. And we are actually not sure that we used the right one because we don't have the labeling anymore. If you think closely, uh, paella is really easy to make. You just uh, fry the ingredients, for example, the meat. In our case, just uh, paprika and uh, onion, and then you let it boil and wait until it, had, it has boiled, and don't stir. <laughs> and after that, you just put, for example, in our case, marisco on top and let it be 15 minutes. So not much like uh, physical doing, just enjoying time, and it's just like. Uh, Italian risotto. Risotto you can actually steer. <laughs> paella. No. And add wine. I don't know if you can add wine to the paella. Is there some recipes in some part of Spain that you add, for example, wine to the paella? I don't know. Because uh, I think uh, in Spain all the recipes and things they differ from area to area. The same kind of things. They are really proud of, of the area where they live. Yeah. The really. Valencian ones have their own recipes and the Andalusian ones have the, the Basque country. And yeah, everyone is uh, proud of, all, of their own things. Yeah. You might think how long we were here on the house because in the YouTube world it's totally different. <laughs> we had a videos that we actually publish it every week while we were here. Well, you can see from my beard, I haven't touched it when we have been on, on this house, so... Long yes. time! But three months was our plan. We accomplished our plan and this was really nice winter here in Spain. We have been online a lot, so using unlimited internet, it has felt so good. And it has been really funny to cook in those gas hops because the house is not tilted. When we cook inside of our van, it's always a little bit tilted, so the oil goes a one corner. So this has been like a really static life for us. And also the, uh, we love the kitchen because th there's so much prep uh, space. Yeah. You can prep all the food and in a van you prep in a one place. Well, we have always talked about how everybody can live in a van, but I think if you really, really love cooking and like to cook like seven course dinners or something, then it, you need to build just a kitchen yeah, for that. Yeah, like deluxe kitchen. It's doable. Of course, using the washing machine and using the oven has been a super blast. We are not going to say the shower is great because we have a good shower in our van. Yeah, too. I think uh, the oven has been great just to make the oven foods or snacks or anything yeah. in the oven. Because uh, in, in a van we don't eat that much snacks. Oh, well, our budget is for snacks is actually <laughs> expanding. But yeah, this kind of static life will be in our future plans also. Because this way we can reduce our yearly budget much. Because we spend it 400 euros up uh, average here on this house That's and nothing. that included our Amazon shopping <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. we have a uh, one bonus thing we can order Amazon stuff here so yeah ordering stuff and still getting less than 400 euros per month it's really good for our budget a really small town or village here where we have lived now 
for the winter time. Yeah. And it's been really relaxing. And there had been a long time that we haven't done anything. <laughs> And it has felt so great because we have been traveling seven months full time. So now and before that, we worked for a couple of decades. Yeah, so it has been feeling really good. Just relax, and now we are eagerly waiting our next adventures and moving along and new things, new experiences. But yeah, yeah just being stationary and doing nothing feels great. But loving life. It's really great. Yeah. All aspects of it. We don't regret this. No. One a bit. <laughs> there's n- there's zero reasons why we would be on our old lives. Yeah. Because there's okay. There's people that I miss, but I don't anything miss anything else. Yeah. We it don't miss the work itself. We miss the people that we work at with. Yeah. And eight hours per day, taking your time is not not. not for us. I rather like uh, plant all my food and live in our plot than going back to the work. Yeah, we have learned that. Yes. I think Pyla is uh, ready in maybe five minutes, so let's uh, make that ready and let's start eating. Well, it's yellow. And it has the burned rice, as it should be, so we have done a huge improvement to our last paella. Yeah. It's okay, but it's not like super delicious. What do you think? I think uh, next time we make the base or where the um, onions and all those kind of things are. Much more, more paprika and uh, onions and... Yeah. But I don't like these burnt spots. Those are the best spots. I like everything uncooked and raw. But it's not disaster. Not disaster. So we have improved like 10 levels. Yeah. <laughs> so we have some levels to climb to make a perfect pile. But as an experience, I think we're going to buy a pile of pan to our plot. Or some kind of pan that we can make food on a live fire. Yeah, because cooking outside feels always so much better than indoors. Mm. Works. Works wonders. So this was a combat kitchen outdoors Let's edition. En- let's enjoy the meal and I know. Maybe next video we are 